y'all it is me kelly your weight loss bestie i'm here today just with like another a different type of video i got some of the like tough bases on like mental health or whatever and why it's so important and like just how mental health affects your everyday life like even when you don't think that's what it is or even when you just don't know that's what it is but before we get started, if you guys are new here, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are my oldies, but goodies, my alumni, what's up, what's good, what's popping. So, y'all know how vulnerable I get on my page. Y'all want, before I start, I'm eating a viral cucumbers. So good. I'll be eating it every day. So fast. But, um, just like I'm just like, I just want to touch bases on me and about what I've been going through. You know, and hopefully, you know, somebody can relate. You know, I always get somebody here that can relate. And, you know, when you just be thinking that, like, you be okay, like, every day. Or you know that, like, you trying to, like, literally, like, just suppress those feelings. Because you don't want to go into, like, a depression. Or you don't want to go into, like, this little dark space or this dark, dark hole or whatever you want to call it. And how... I just wake up sometimes and I just be like, okay, today's just not the day. And then, like, lately, I've been having those days, like, consecutively. Like, it'll be, like, for four days straight, for five days straight. And I'm just like, man, like, what is going on? Like, what is wrong with me? And I just don't know, you know. So, of course, you start praying. You know, you start asking God for clarity. You know, and of course, it got to be something that's, like, bothering your mental or, like, tugging, like, on your mental health. Like, where it prevents you from being active, where it prevents you from getting out the bed, where it prevents you from being a parent, where it prevents you from working, man, where it prevents you from even just taking care of yourself. Like, you just don't feel like doing nothing. You don't want to do your hair. You just don't want to do nothing. You just laying around and you just sleep, sleep, sleep all day. And, like, that's what, like, I was kind of, like, just dealing with this week. Like, today is Thursday. When I tell y'all, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today is, like, the first day I'm, like, really able to get up, like, and be active and do things that I need to do. Like, go to the store, buy tissue, you know, go do the things that I need to do as a mother and as a fiancé. Like, what I need to do. Like, because I neglected all of those. You know, my daughter come home from school. I'm in the bed. I'm tired. I don't really feel like talking. I ask her, how was your day? Do you have homework? Yes. Good. No. Okay. Whatever. And then, like, just continue, like, to go back in my shell. And, and, you know, my daughter, you know, just to be very transparent, because y'all know I'm very transparent. Like, y'all know I'm going to tell y'all what's going on or whatever. I don't, I'm not, I'm not scared to say what I'm dealing with or what I've been through or whatever. So, my daughter, you know, we was talking yesterday. She kind of came in the room. I had, um, went and got us something to eat because I got out the bed. My family said, like, let's go. Let's get up. Let's just go, you know, get something to eat or whatever. So, the grocery store. Cool. I come back, you know, and we just started talking. And she was like, Ma, you were so mean on one day. And I'm like, I was mean. She like, yeah, she was just like so mean on one day. And I'm just like, you know, I didn't really have like no excuse for what I asked. Her. Like, well, what did I do? You know, that was so mean, you know, on Monday or whatever. And, you know, I kind of like got defensive about it at first. But I had to like really humble myself and be like, you know what, Kelly, you haven't really been your best self. So maybe you should listen to what it was that you did so you could have corrective actions. So, um, you know, I listened to her or whatever. She said I was just like just very snappy, not really, you know, just not myself. Like everything irritated me. I'm cursing everybody out. Me and my girl, we got into it. Her, I don't really want to hear what she got going on. And it's like nobody did nothing to me. I'm mad at my friends. I'm just like, oh my God, okay. You know, and I think I got more so frustrated because I knew those things was happening. I just didn't know why. You know, so for those of you that don't know, which a lot of you don't, like back a, a while ago, I suffered from um, just like like chronic depression and anxiety. I still kind of suffer from anxiety, um, depression, anxiety, you know, stuff like that. So it's a lot of things that could be triggering, um, triggering those things that I don't even know about. And that's even going out, partying too much or drinking too much. And, you know, your mind is just like all over the place. So then it's like, I got everyday things going on in life. Like, 
<sighs> you gotta pay these bills. You gotta get up. You gotta be a wife. You gotta be a mother. You gotta be a friend. You gotta be everything to everybody else except for what you need to be to yourself. So while you're making sure everybody else is okay, you're suffering. So now every day you got this cup and you pouring into all these cups, all these cups, and your cup is getting emptier, 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 emptier. And it's nobody's fault. It's just you, what you doing. And because I'm a person that you could talk to, I'm still fairly private. Because I don't really talk to people about what I got going on or talk to people about my feelings or talk to people about my relationships. And I don't think it's because people can't relate. I think it's more so, for one, I have a problem with other people's opinions. And I feel like that's kind of contradicting because I always got an opinion. But I'm like, well, you shouldn't care that I got an opinion because you asked me. I didn't ask you. So I feel like if I don't ask, I don't have to hear it. You know? So yeah, like this week has been a roller coaster for me. And I'm like, you know, if I'm a document, you know, my weight loss journey, my surgery journey, why not document my everyday life? Because y'all are my people. Y'all, y'all my girls, you know, we we here. So it's like, okay, you know, I'm gonna be vulnerable and I'm gonna open up because it's probably somebody else out here who dealing with this on the everyday. And then don't make, make I'm a Libra. So baby, my scale, honey, my scale is like this. Topsy turvy, all the time. All the time, all the time, all the time, child. I wake up some days like, okay, girl. Let me get up. Let me read my affirmations. Let me read the scripture in my Bible. Let me listen to some gospel music because I need for my day to try to go as straight and narrow as possible. So I'm like, what I noticed, I'm like, okay, I kind of like fell out of doing things that I like to do. You know, things that makes me happy. So now, instead of me getting up and going to Starbucks, but of course, you know, I'm still on my journey right now, so me going to Starbucks every day is not gonna work because I'm a little sugar. But you know, let me get up. You know, let me let me take my daughter to school. I can go to Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? Let me just give me a black coffee with probably a little splash of this. You know, just things that make me happy. You like I like going to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods and. Even though I might go not go into the store and buy too many things, but it's okay to just step into that environment because that is something that make me happy. You know, get up, Kelly. Go get your feet done. Go get your nails done. It's okay to wear press on sometimes because I'm a press on girly. But, you know, if those are things that make you happy, get up and do it. You know, so some days I'll be like, man, why am I so down or why am I so tired? Because I really don't have no reason to be tired for real. Like, I live a regular, smegular, everyday life. It ain't like I'm doing no hard, strenuous work that's causing me to need to be sleep every day. I just be like, oh, I'm tired. Like, I need a, I need a nap. I need, and I'm like, why? Why? So here I go, going in the room, laying down. So I'm like, okay. What I came up with for myself is you know, get up and do things that make you get up. Get up and do things that make you get out the house. And I'm talking to y'all too. You know, like, if y'all are dealing with that and just kind of down and out and don't really know why, just get up. Go for a walk. You know, get up. Read your Bible. Um, if you got a store around the corner and you want something from the store, walk to the store. You know, just do things to get you up and get you out of the house. Because first of all, it's the summertime. Everybody's happy during the summertime. You know, you're not dealing with um, what is called seasonal depression in the summertime. It's bright outside. It feels good. You could go and do a million and one things. And here, here you are in a room with some blackout curtains laying in the bed. Like, you just done lost your best friend. And I'm like, okay. Am I going to claim the press? No. Not claiming that at all because that's not what it is. That's not what it is. I'm not going to say that's what it is because it's not. <laughs> you know, we just sometimes just kind of like just lose sight of our spe ourselves, especially when we get so much going on, you know, and being a parent is not easy. Being a, um, being a wife or being a girlfriend being a fiance, being whatever, being a spouse, just in general, it's not easy because y'all gonna go through y'all ups and downs. And sometimes you go through things and you don't really talk about it. So people don't even really know how to address you or how to approach you. So now it's coming off like, what's wrong with you? And because we are already so triggered, now it's the attitude. You know, we don't know how to answer that. Like, 
well, I'm just feeling a little down. You gonna answer like, what's wrong with you? Like, why are you asking me that? Especially me, I'm I'm really snappy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a clock my own teeth because I'm really snappy. So, you know, now I'm coming off aggressive. So instead of it being just a healthy conversation, probably able to help me through whatever it is that I'm dealing with. Now I'm just mad and I'm upset because I feel like you just came at me sideways. And I'm already triggered. So whatever anger I was already feeling, I'm going to feel it on you. Because you the first person to say something to me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, child, baby. This this week, this week has been something different for me. And I'm like, I'm sitting, I'm sitting here and I'm just eating my little, you know, eating my little cucumbers. And I'm like, let me talk to my people because I didn't even, uh, I ain't talk to y'all. In a couple days. And when I made my last video, and I rewatched it. My energy was even down on that video. And I'm just like, you know, Kelly, like you got to snap out of it. Like you can't just allow yourself to become heavy. When you feel like you pouring too much. Take a step back. You can still be there. Take a step back. Even if you tell people, I just need a couple days to myself or whatever the case is. Just take a step back and just do some things that you want to do for you. Today I got up, I went to the store. My birthday coming up, so I went and looked in the store um, to see if I could find me a little shirt. I went to the beauty supply store because I got clients for the rest of the week. Um, I got up and actually like slipped on me a little clothes, put my little handy dandy wig on, put me some earrings on, threw me a little jewelry on. I'm like, okay, you know, I feel good about myself or whatever, you know, and I went out, I got me some sun and listened to my music in the car, opened my sunroof and I was good. You know, but I said I refuse to sit back and just let myself be down and out or sad and depressed when I don't have to be. And you don't either. And nobody watching this video do either. We just have to just learn how to lift ourselves up. You know, lift ourselves up when we feeling down or when we feeling low. A lot of times we look to people and to things and to um family members or spouses or whatever to make us happy or to lift ourselves up with happiness and joy comes with you first and God you know like you have to sometimes put yourself before your kid because your kids can pull a tug on you too and I only got one so I'll be like baby big ups to the parents who got more than one kid or a kid two under two or three you know what I'm saying like every situation could be worse so I just try to always tell myself, like, Kelly, you're not the only person that's dealing with this stuff. You know, and if somebody can get up every day and keep on going about their everyday life while they're dealing with whatever they're dealing with, baby, you sure enough can. So, yeah, I just want to come on there and just talk to y'all about that and just be vulnerable for a minute. Because, you know, I like talking to y'all. And y'all y'all comments, like, really just lift me up and just really make me feel really good a lot of the times. And I love y'all so much for that. But yeah, that was just my little short update video. But I'm okay today, and it is Thursday. And I'm going to finish my cucumbers. I'm going to do my clients. And the next time I upload my video, I'm going to be my happy, bubbly self. Because I know what to do. And it starts with self, honey. And I'm going to go in and pour into my cup. So instead of being half empty, honey, it's half full. And I got to always remember that. I always see your cup half full, never empty. But I love y'all so much and thank y'all for listening and until next time.